Good morning. Good morning, Good morning sir. sir. Good morning, Is it visible the whiteboard? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so last class we discussed uh, last two classes. We have discussed the graphical method to solve uh, the dynamic analysis problem for a four bar mechanism and uh, four R mechanism actually. And we have taken one example of slider crank mechanism and we discussed how to find out the forces uh, in the in the mechanism Sorry for the interruption. Okay, so uh, today we'll start on this topic, which is a dynamic analysis and uh, analytical method. Okay, so I am just writing. And what is this lecture number? 18, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Exactly. This then problem with an answer, which is a problem. So in this method, the method is a, a very simple systematic approach. This is just a simple systematic approach. And uh, to solve a simple problem, you need to take help of computers, okay? We will try with a uh, four bar mechanism. Before we uh, go to that, so just a simple, uh, calculation so suppose we have uh, a constant mechanism what is what do we mean by this uh, constant mechanism what do we mean freedom one 
degree of freedom degree of freedom 1 1 is 1 so we know that this 3 into n minus 1 minus 2j this must be equals to 1 right so for a mechanism suppose you have n number of uh, n number of links then uh, for dynamic analysis how many equations you have? How many equations you have? Number of equations. So suppose there is a link. And this link is moving in a plane. OK, so we, we are obviously discussing the planar mechanism. A link is moving in space. What are the moment two translation and one rotation is there? So for two translations, you have force balance in the X direction equals to zero. You have force balance or linear momentum balance in the Y direction equals to zero and you have the moment balance equals to zero. So these three equations you have right. For any link. And for a mechanism, we have seen that one of the link has to be fixed. So number of equations available to you is nothing but this number, right? OK, now how many join forces components of join forces? Number of. Components of join forces each joint there are two component of force right if you remember any any force here that can be represented by its two components one is along x direction another is along y direction so any joint has two components of force that means number of uh, components of joint forces, total number of components of joint forces. If there are J number of joints, then you have actually two J number of joint forces, right? No. Yes. And and yes. what is this equation? Grobler's criteria. So this in this equation, you see the Grobler's criteria will be satisfied when this value is equals to one. So you see you have this number of equation of motion and this number of. Joint forces, suppose we we have to determine this joint forces, right? So how many equation left? The available number of equation is this. The number of unknowns in terms of joint forces as this 2j so when you do this 3 into n minus 1 minus 2j for a constant mechanism this is equals to 1 that means you can only solve for one unknown externally applied force or moment if you if you go back and see the problems we have solved graphically only one unknown we have solved you see this is this m2 is the torque which need to be determined okay and all other joint forces they are obvious you need to determine those forces joint forces so how many joint forces are here we have four joint forces, but each joint force is a vector, so we have to break them into components. Each joint force, two components. So eight components of joint forces plus this. So total nine unknowns. How many equations required? Nine equations. So in this case, we are just discussing that that you have four. If suppose you have 
four links. That means number of equations available to you is four minus one into three. That is nine. So if you have nine equations, you can only solve nine unknowns, right? These nine unknowns includes eight number of joint force components. So you can only determine only one unknown. OK. That is a limitation of this. Uh, that is a limitation to determine the unknown forces. OK, only one unknown force component force or moment that can be determined. OK. Now go going into the. Discussion. We take a four bar mechanism. And suppose the four bar mechanism looks like this. This is the four bar mechanism. Uh, if I. Make this little small. Maybe this. And each link, suppose now we want to represent this point is A, this point is B. Suppose we want to represent point B in terms of vector, position vectors, and this O2 is the origin. So, so suppose this is a vector which is L2 vector. This is another vector, which is L3 vector. Then we can have a vector from this point. This is L1 vector. And we have another vector here. This is L4 vector. So we can write down that this L2 vector plus L3 vector is equals to L1 vector plus L4 vector, right? Yes. yes so the same equation, let us call it 18.1. Same equation can also be written like this L2 plus L3 minus L4 is equals to L1. Why we have written this way? Because all other vectors are rotating vectors, like right? Rotate these two vectors are purely rotating. This vector is rotating and translating. So all other vectors are changing with respect to time, but this vector is not changing with respect to time. This is this. Okay. Now let us take their angle with positive x axis. This is the positive x axis. And let us take their angle. This is theta 2 with positive x axis. Let's say this angle is theta 3. And this angle is theta 4. Okay. If it is so, then this L2 vector, L2 vector can be written as if we take this direction, unit vector J, and this direction, unit vector is I. Okay. So, so you have L2 cos theta 2 in the i direction plus L2 sin theta 2 in the j direction. Is it fine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, now let us write down L3. L3. So before I write, let us do something so that 
it will help us to write. Why we have taken this angle theta with respect to positive x axis? It is because so when you are uh, when you have many links, okay, you should not change the the way you have taken their uh, calculations. We should not change that. Okay, that can create a problem. That is why we have taken the similar way there with positive x axis. What is the angular positions? Now, what is this angle? This is pi minus theta 3. Okay, so this same vector can be represented in terms of this vector, which is along negative j direction and this vector which is along positive i direction okay let's do that so so we can write down this l3 as as we can write down l3 and uh, multiply it with cos this will give you this this vector which is uh, cos pi minus theta 3. It is in i direction. And you can see when you write L3 sine pi minus theta 3, and that is in the negative j direction. So we write it like this, All right? And finally, our, our L3 vector is what we will have here minus L3 cos theta 3 minus L3 sin theta 3 j. Is it fine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now we write what is L4. OK, so L4 again is very simple. L4 can be written as L4 cos theta 4 in the I direction plus L4 sine theta 4 in the J direction. What about L1? L1 can be written because it is uh, not changing its uh, uh, magnitude and uh, it is, its orientation. So simply, you you can write that this is L1 x component in the i direction plus L1 y component in the j direction. All right. Now, if you substitute these all these component wise vectors in this equation. And then you separate the uh, the i cap and uh, j cap coefficients. Can you tell me how can I write these equations for from this equation? From this equation, what should I write when we uh, separate the coefficients of i cap? Tell me what is the first component? L2 L2 cos theta 2. Both the job. Minus L3 cos 3 theta 3. The 3. Uh. Minus L4 cos theta 4. Hmm. Equal to L1 x. Okay. Can we give some name to this? That's okay. Take And what about this jth equation? L2 sin theta 2 minus L2 sin theta 2 sin minus L3 sin theta 3 minus L4 sin theta 4 equal to L1 y. L1 y. So you have now these uh, two equations. So from these two equations, see for any dynamic analysis problem, first thing we need to 
solve for its kinematic uh, quantities, like what is its uh, uh, angular and rectilinear accelerations. Angular accelerations you will get when you have a this theta two double dot, okay, theta three double dot, theta four double dot. These are the angular accelerations. An angular velocity is required uh, to find out what is the velocity, everything. So angular velocities are theta three dot, theta four dot, and theta two dot. All those quantities we can find out, but you see we have two equations and uh, at this point, we have three unknowns, this theta two, theta three, and theta four, right? And we have these two equations. But in, in actual case, one of the angle will be given to you. Suppose it is asked that at when theta two is 30 degree, find out the angular velocity of this or angular velocity of this, uh, 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 Right, angular velocity of this link and what is the accelerations, all those things. The quantities related to one link will be given to you. So when that is given, one of the angles are given, then you have two equations and two unknowns. So then you can solve these two equations and two unknowns. Now moving forward to the uh, moving forward to the uh, determination of angular velocities, what we need can do here is we can differentiate these equations. Let us call it 18.2 and uh, all these equations, let us call them 18.3. I'm calling it 18.4. And this is 18.5. So now what we will do, we will now differentiate with respect to time this 18.4. So what it would give us if you differentiate with respect to time? Can somebody uh, tell us from the first equation? L2, L2 minus sine theta 2 d minus theta 2 by theta theta dt. Two d theta 2 by dt minus l3 minus l3 minus sine theta 3 d theta 3 by dt mm. plus l4 sine theta 4 d theta 4 by dt equal to 0. Yeah. Is this fine? Whatever I have written here. Are you yes, okay sir. with this? All of you okay with this? Yes, sir. Let us take this yes, uh, negative sign common and we can write it this way L3 sine theta 3, theta 3 dot minus L4. The calculations which we are doing today are, are very simple, but this is systematic and uh, you need to do this to find out the kinematic quantities. Next, we will do the same thing with this equation. From this equation, if you do the derivative, what you will get? L2 cos theta 2. L2 cos theta 2. Cos theta 2, theta two dash minus L3 cos theta 3 dot minus L4 dot. Okay. Hmm. L4 cos theta 4. Right, now we have these two equations. Let us put these two equations in matrix form. OK, so if I put them in matrix form, like I want to write them in terms of theta 2 dot, theta 3 dot, and theta 4 dot. This equals to in the right hand side you have zeros. What should I write here in this matrix? What is the first element? L2 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 L2. Second element? Minus L3. Minus L3. L3. Third element? Minus L4. Minus L4 sin theta 4. 
थीटा फोर यहाँ पे बताओ एल टू कॉस्ट थीटा टू यहाँ पे माइनस एल थ्री कॉस्ट थीटा थ्री देन माइनस एल फोर कॉस्ट थीटा फोर ठीक है सो इन अगेन इन दिस सिस्टम सो फ्रॉम हियर फ्रॉम दिस टू इक्वेशन एटीन पॉइंट फोर and 18.5 from this two equations if suppose theta 2 is known then we have determined theta 3 and theta 4 this is determined right yes or no if you have yes, okay we determined theta 3 and theta 4 so all three uh, variables Theta two, theta three, theta four are now known to us. So in this matrix, all 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 the quantities are known to us. Now, now we have to find out one of the quantities. Suppose for a problem, it is given that this link L two it is rotating with constant angular velocity. Okay, constant angular velocity means that theta two dot that is given to us okay at suppose 30 degree when it is at 30 degree it is rotating at 50 radian per second that means theta 2 dot is given theta 2 also given so from the value of theta 2 we have obtained theta 3 and theta 4 and now since theta 2 dot is also known to us we can now solve for these two quantities theta 3 dot and theta 4 dot is it is it okay yes sir yes sir so the next thing what we will do suppose this equation is 18.6 and this equation is 18.7 our next step is to find out what is the acceleration what is the acceleration this we need to find out what should i do now again differentiate the equation so again we will differentiate this equation 18.6 if you differentiate what you will get bolo l2 cos theta 2 l2 cos theta 2 dot minus minus L three cos theta three. No, it will be complete. Sin theta two theta two minus sin theta two. L two sin theta two dot theta two. Double dot. Sin theta two theta two double dot. ये होगा ना? Yes. Now, next term. Minus L three sin theta three. चलो same similar way में करते हैं. L three cos theta three. theta 3 dot square minus l3 sin theta 3 and dot theta 3 double dot double dot okay and then the next term is l4 l4 sin 3 theta 3 square cos theta 4 cos theta 4 theta 4 is dot square minus l4 Sin theta four, theta four double dot. This is equals to zero. That is one equation. And the next equation is eighteen point seven. So I am going to get L two cos theta two minus L two cos theta two theta two square theta two dot square. Minus l two theta two theta two dot square plus l two plus l two cos theta two theta two double dot theta two double dot. Next, that is all. So plus l three sine theta three l three sine theta three theta two dot square theta three dot square. Ah. Minus l three cos theta three. Cos theta three, theta three, double dot. 
Next. Theta four dot square minus L four cos theta four theta four double dot equals to zero. Let us call this equation eighteen point eight. 18.9. Okay, now in these two equations, suppose uh, for a particular case, let's say this theta 2 and theta 2 dot is known to us, and it is said that theta 2 dot is constant. What about theta 2 double dot? Zero. 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 So that means in these two equations, all the quantities related to theta 2, like theta 2, theta 2 dot, and theta 2 double dot, these quantities are now known to us. Also, from our previous discussions, we know what is theta 3 and theta 3 dot, what is theta 4 and theta 4 dot, what, it, what else is not known to us. Theta four, theta three double dot and theta four double dot, right? Yes, sir. So from equation, equ I am not writing them in a matrix form. No. You can write it. From these two equations, we can determine we can determine this theta j double dots, where you can put j equals to two, three, or four. In some case, this theta four is known to us. For this case, you have to find out theta two and theta three. So I am not removing the generalized way. So that is why I have written it. So. In all these three cases, you have three things we have discussed, this one and then this one and then this one. All these cases, we have two equations and two unknowns. So that can be solved easily. After solving, you have all the angular quantities. All the angular quantities are known to you. Once you have the angular quantities, you can find out the... Uh, accelerations, linear accelerations also you can find out from them. Okay, so that is the first part of the uh, analytical method and this method, the up to this, we have discussed only kinematic analysis. Now we will discuss the dynamic analysis. Let us uh, have some definition before we start the discussion let us have some definition so so consider a, a jth link on the mechanism and when we write f j x it means external force this is the component component of external force acting on link J, component of external force acting on link J in the X direction. Okay, similarly, F J Y means component of external force acting on link J in the Y direction. Okay. Similarly, when we use M J, it means the okay, this this force, external force, which is acting J direction, and this is acting at cg of the link at cg of the link okay this force is acting 
at the CG of the link. Now suppose there is some external moment. This is external moment acting applied external moment applied at CG of J link. This is the definition. Some definition we'll be using. OK, now let us draw the free body diagram. Of the same. Mechanism. So when we draw free body diagram of link two. This is a link two. We have joint forces acting here. On this point. And this point is say O2. This point is A. So the joint forces here we will call this joint forces without uh, any ambiguity. Let us call it PO2. It is in the X direction. This is PO2 in the Y direction. Similarly, the joint forces here will call it P A in the X direction and joint force here is P A in the Y direction. Now the center of mass is here and at this point the external force component of external force F1 X in this direction component of external force F1 acting in Y direction and there is a moment also acting on it. This moment is M2. OK. Suppose uh, this distance is D2. And this distance is F2. OK, this distance means from this point to this point. This distance is D2 and from this point to this point. This distance is F2. OK, this completes the free body diagram of um, Link to now we will draw free body diagram of link three. Because well, this is the free body diagram of link three. So so free body diagram when you draw the join force here. It is in this direction. And. OK, the values are obviously. P A X and this is P A Y. Uh, just look at the. Figures I have not given the vector sign. I have not given the vector sign. So the component is negative or positive determined by this uh, direction. OK, so don't we don't need to worry about it. Here you have join force. This point we have given the name. This point is A and this point is B. So. The join forces here is P B Y. P B X. All right. And uh, at the center of mass, the externally applied force is F. This is three. I'm sorry, I have used this 
they are not one because the link number is two. So we must write F2Y, F2X. Now for this, we have F3Y, F3X. And you have a moment acting here. That is M3. Right again, for this case also, we will call this distance is D3. What is this distance from this point to this point? And distance, this distance is F3 from this point to this point. Okay, will be useful and we'll do the analysis. And the last uh, link which we have is this link four. For link four, again, you have the joint forces. This joint force is P, B, X. You have a joint force here that is P, B, Y. The values are PBX and PBY. Obviously, you can see that their directions are negative. And this is PO4X. And this is PO4Y. This is CG. These are the two forces externally components of externally applied force F4 X F4 Y and this is M4. So that completes the free body diagram of all the uh, links. Now we will write down the equations of motion related to each link. OK, so let us now do it for link two. Link two. What are the equations of motion? So you have equations of motion. You will have one equation of motion related to force balance in X direction. Another equation of motion related to force balance in y direction. Another equation of motion related to moment balance. OK, remember that. This angle here, this angle is theta 2. For this case. The angular position. Means. This angle is theta 3 and for this case this angle is theta 4. OK, so let us now do the. Force balance for. Link two. First we are writing the externally applied force. We will add all the externally applied force and we'll write that externally applied force is equals to. The. Inertia force and inertia moment, OK? So. First I'm writing this is F. 2 X. OK, we want to write it in terms of directly in terms of a matrix matrix equation just be with me and uh, see what is happening so this matrix equation is consisting of three equations two force balance equation and one moment balance equation so the first row represents force balance in the x direction so we have here 
what are the forces joint forces p o 2 x p o 2 y and then you have p a x p a y and this is equals to the mass of the link to is m2 and that multiplied with for the force balance in x direction the acceleration is given by so acceleration of so this point is let's say g2 the center of mass is g2 sorry g2 and for this case it is g3 for this case it is g4 okay so we'll write here a g3 and it's x directional component that gives you m2 a g3 x that gives you the component of acceleration or inertia force for the acceleration in x direction okay we have written the this is the externally applied force now for the first row we have to complete the force balance in x direction first force we have taken this is the p o 2 x what is the coefficient one and then p o 2 y obviously coefficient is zero because we are taking force balance in x direction what about this component it is positive the coefficient is one and this is zero can somebody tell me what should i write in the in this second row what are the coefficients i should write in second row zero zero one and here we have a g3 y what about this third here what should we write d2 zero hmm. d2 sir, in please, this uh, case uh, sir in, for yeah let me tell you one thing in this case we are taking suppose we are taking a uh, moment of all the forces okay moment of all the forces with respect to this point center of mass now you tell me d2 d2 f2 d2 sin theta 2 right because we need which direct which distance from this point to this point this distance for moment yes, sir, yes, sir. right d2 sin theta 2 what about the next point what should we multiply with this force d2, d2 cos theta 2 d2 cos theta 2 but it should be in negative direction yes yes sir. And what about the this quantity? This distance is F2. So we F2 multiply. Yeah, but there should be a minus sign because that is creating clockwise moment. Yes. F2 sin theta 2. And the last one is? F2 cos theta 2. F2 cos theta 2. And what about this? What, what should I write here? Alpha G3. I am writing here Kj is the radius of gyration. Gyration for 
जेत लिंक ठीक है देन व्हाट इज द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्सिया एम के टू स्क्वायर के स्क्वायर हाँ दैट मल्टीप्लाइड विद थीटा टू डबल डॉट इज इट फाइन Is it fine? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Let us now do this for link three. Okay. The same similar way we will do it for link three. You quickly tell me what should be the components. Okay. So we have here f three. X, F three, Y, M three, okay, plus this is a matrix. Let's make it big. And the joint forces are. We have P A X, P A. Y, P B X, P B Y equals to M three. Again, here we have A G three X, A G three Y. What should I write here? K three square, theta three double. ठीक है नाउ हेल्प मी टू राइट डाउन दिस क्वांटिटीज व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट रो माइनस वन जीरो वन जीरो माइनस वन जीरो वन जीरो व्हाट अबाउट द नेक्स्ट रो माइन जीरो माइनस वन जीरो माइनस वन जीरो वन बिकॉज दिस क्वांटिटीज आर पॉजिटिव दिस आर नेगेटिव ओके नाउ Carefully tell me about the last row. I am writing it correctly. D three sine theta minus D three cos theta three F three sine theta three minus F three cos theta three. Is it fine? Yes, sir. Let me complete this. or now this uh, fourth link we will write down the same thing so the forces are a for x f for y m for and we have this matrix Which has the components are P B X, P B Y, P O four X, P O four Y, and this is equals to M four multiplied with A G four X. A G four Y, and what about the last term? K four square theta four. Tell me what is the first row? First row. 
minus one. So zero. Second row. Zero. Second row. Zero minus one. Zero one. Third row. Is it fine? Yes, sir. Now the interesting things come here. These are the these are three equations. Here you have three equation. Here you have three equation. These three equations uh, I want to call by some name. So suppose we call it 18.10, 18.11, and this is 18.12. Can we club these three equations together in a matrix equation? Because you see, you have three components here. This is three component. There are three components, but in this equation, this PO2X, PO2Y is fine. PAX, PAY. In this equation, also you have PAX, PAY. This equation it has these components PBX, PBY. This equation is also having these components PBX and PBY. So, what we can do, we can club all these three equations together and can write one equation whose which is which is which will so i'm writing here 18.10 18.11 and 18.12 can be written as f plus a matrix Q plus a vector joint force vector F is equals to the inertia force vector. Okay, where where what are the components of this vector F? Can somebody tell me what are the components of this vector F? This the components are F2x, F2y, M2, F3x, F3y, M3, F4x, F4y, and M4. These are the components of this F vector. What are the components of this P vector? Components are PAX, PAY. No, order se bolo. Pehle P O two X tha. Then P O two Y tha. Then P A X. P P A Y. A Y. P P B X. X. P B Y. Then PO4X, PO4Y. So these are the components of P vector. What about the components of H vector? AG2X, AG2Y, M2 multiplied with A. G two X, so three components A G two X A G two Y and K two square theta two double dot. First three components. Second three component is M three multiplied with A G three X A G three Y K three square theta three double dot. 
and the third three components m4 multiplied with a g4 x a g4 y k4 square theta 4 the right hand side that is this h vector is completely known to us in the left hand side these joint forces are completely not known to us okay how many forces one two three four five six seven eight they are not known to us and among these one of the force may be not known to us okay because you see we can determine only all the joint forces and one of these forces okay as we have discussed how many unknowns you can find out all the joint forces and one unknown force or moment component that can be determined okay because how many equations we have from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This would be 9 equations. Okay, then uh, how to uh, how to how to find out this Q, Q matrix? What are the components of this Q matrix? So I give you this assignment. This is your home assignment. Construct the Q matrix. OK, and obviously this whole thing can be solved using some uh, numerical technique in computer program okay so that's all for analytical method if you have doubt you can ask me tomorrow in in the monday class we will start uh, We'll introduce you flywheels. Okay. Sir, All right. uh, for my. Ah, bolo. मैट्रिक्स क्यों तो सर हमारे एज्यूम किए हुए डायरेक्शन फोर्स का जो डायरेक्शन है उस पे डिपेंड करेगा ना सर नो नो मैट्रिक्स क्यों उतना दूर कुम क्यों जा रहे यू यू हैव ऑल दिस मैट्रिसेस ओके दिस वन दिस वन एंड दिस वन मैट्रिक्स क्यों इज जस्ट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस थ्री मैट्रिसेस हाउ यू कैन कॉम्बाइन देम do you understand my okay, point sir. see sir yes this this is also equation it has rows so how many rows will be there each row what are the components simply not simply what you have to do you write here i'm telling you you write here first you have this matrix first matrix okay this matrix will come here and then diagonally you will pose the second matrix and the third matrix this you have to do by your own otherwise if i write you will not have any any feeling that how these matrices are coming so what you have to do in terms of assignment you draw this free body diagram by your own write down these equations by your own Okay, then construct this equation, get the Q matrix. Okay, once you do that, then you'll have some confidence on it. Otherwise, I will write it has no meaning to you. 
okay yeah, this will be know. useful when you apply it in some computer coding okay the class is over if you still have some doubt you can ask me i am here in my college days when i was learning uh, theory of machine i used to do codings through through c i used to draw all the mechanisms and their uh, these dynamic quantities how they are changing with uh, uh, the crank angle is changing how the uh, positions velocity accelerations they are changing that can be drawn that can be plotted at that time i did not know matlab matlab is now is very useful tool it is available you can use that at that time i used to do it with c programming with graphics that was my hobby you can also try Okay. All right. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.